The average American makes more than a ton of trash every year. Most of us seem to like this toss-and-go lifestyle, but Lauren Singer is not most of us. This consumerist trash lifestyle is, is very new and very modern, and I think it's really a possibility to essentially revert back to lifestyle habits that existed before this disposable society became really prevalent. In the last two years, the 23-year-old New Yorker has produced so little trash that it fits inside a 16-ounce mason jar. I see the jar over there. You might need to go to a yeah. second jar soon. No, out. no, there's, that's air. There's uh. definitely room in there. Lauren is at the forefront of a small but growing movement of people who strive to live with zero waste. To find out how they do it, I recently met Lauren at her Brooklyn apartment. On my way here, I was like, I was like, this better be legit. I was like, I'm, I'm going to be sniffing it out if it's not. Uh, but no, I'm totally convinced. Like, there's no trash can in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. That was like my ex-boyfriend's biggest thing. He's like, Lauren, you have to have a trash can in the bathroom. And I was like, no. How do you define trash? For me, trash is anything that ends up in a landfill or is discarded with no intention of being reused or recycled. Everything from gum to putting a mattress on the side of the street. What are people most curious about? I think people are really curious about like the more intimate things like condoms and periods and toilet paper. I mean, those are the questions I get the most. So let's quickly break down the lifestyle a little bit. Straws. I use stainless steel straws. Cups. I'll bring a mason jar. Paper towels, paper products. I use cotton napkins to clean my home. I still use toilet paper, contrary to popular belief. Um, but I use recycled toilet paper and just recycle the little tube. You make your own deodorant? Mm hmm Cleaning products? Cleaning products. I make all of my own cleaning products. Condoms and feminine hygiene. Condoms are actually one form of trash that I do produce. And then as far as feminine, care. I use something called a menstrual cup, which is essentially a silicone cup, and you just basically wash it out. To show off some of her tricks for zero-waste living, Lauren took me shopping. So Lauren, where are we right now? We're at Integral Yoga Natural Foods, which is where I buy a lot of my bulk products. And you buy a lot of products here, but when I look around, I see a lot of things you can't buy, like things I love, like these cookies. But there are also so many things that I can buy. Let's, yeah. uh, let's take a look around. So this is my main aisle right here. So they have everything in bulk. You have coffee, beans, and tons of different types of pasta. Wow. And then we can do some vegetables or even some spices. I like to use this in pasta. So I take from the plastic jar and I put it in the glass one. How does it smell? It smells really good. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah, I love it. So the reason I prefer shopping in the farmer's market again is because of like all the produce stickers on everything. Can we just have a moment for the stickers? Who puts these stickers on? So this drives me nuts and this has to go into my trash jar, which is really frustrating. Feels like I'm running away from home or something. Yeah. We can get juice too or smoothie if you want. Yeah, can I do the morning sunshine smoothie with a base of apple? But can you do it in this? And then the same with his, whatever he wants, also in the mason jar. Yeah, I guess I'll have the same thing. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Are you sure? Do you know what's in it? No. Thank uh, you, sir. Oh, can you not use these? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Can you reuse? Can you can you reuse, can you, can you reuse that one? Yeah. Cool. Perfect. Thanks. See, but you have to be on it. You got to be sharp. Oh, they're real good. Very good. Yeah. Okay, so now I finished mine because it was incredibly good. And I have an overwhelming urge to toss it. Hold that. Yeah. This, done, no leakage. And we can take one of these guys. All right, thank you. <laughs> I feel bad. Just met you, now you're carrying around my straw. We headed back to her place to try the results of our shopping trip. Mushrooms. Yeah, something exploded in here. This spool is going to be compost. So even here, like, you can see as we start cutting things that, like, all of this would have been garbage if we weren't composting it. And composting is just a nice word for it, letting it rot somewhere, right? Exactly, yeah, and turning back into soil. When I transitioned to this lifestyle, I found that I was eating so much better, and I was feeling better, and I felt better when I woke up. 
sure the sound isn't the most appetizing. <laughs> Very like Dane Cook macaroni and cheese if you've ever seen that. But there was still a lot I didn't understand. When did you become somebody who was even conscious of the environment? I've always loved nature. I've always gotten, you know, really excited about being outside and seeing pretty sunsets, you know, the whole spiel. Help us understand how you go from, oh, that's a pretty sunset, to I'm no longer going to produce any trash <laughs> in my adult life. There was a girl in one of my classes that would bring this plastic bag with a plastic clamshell full of food and a plastic drink bottle and a plastic fork and knife, and I would watch her throw it in the garbage class after class, and I would get totally frustrated. And then one day after class, when I was feeling kind of upset, I went home to make dinner, and I opened my fridge, and I saw that everything that I had was packaged in plastic. I was getting so mad at this girl, and I'm that girl too. I was producing so much trash. I kind of made a decision there to just go for a zero waste life. Recently, Lauren turned her garbage-free lifestyle into a business. She launched the Simply Co. to make products for sustainable living. But there are some bits of garbage even Lauren can't avoid. Every company has an origin story, and as you say, yours is bound up with the lifestyle that you started, and a lot of that lifestyle is represented in that little glass container. Yes. What are we looking at here? Yeah, this is my, this is my jar of trash from the past two years. Two years of trash? Two years of trash. Do you want to take a look at yeah, it? Yeah, let's dump it out. Yeah. So as a rule of thumb, if it rots, you can compost it. Yeah, it's not the most catchy phrase, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, we could even separate it out. This is today's contribution. I'm sorry Our, about that, Lauren, I really am. So there really isn't anything here that's not plastic-based. This is for the inside of vitamins, just to keep them fresh. My dreaded bar straws, band-aids, plastic gift wrap. This one guy was super adamant about me having a wristband. The little plastic thingies that connect price tags to a piece of clothing. There's so many of these things that are not recyclable. And so where do they end up? Like the ocean. Finally, it was tasting time. Do you want to serve it up? Mm, terrific. This is like one of my favorites. Lauren, this is great. Thank you very much for introducing us to the <laughs> trash free lifestyle. Thanks for being good, Susha. It seems very doable, yeah, I have to say. Yeah, totally doable. Not impossible. You did it. And you were not, you're not the radical I made you out to be. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>